Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher from Art Projects for Kids. I do hope my website becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. In today's drawing video, I'd love to show your students how to draw a sloth. They're pretty cute, especially when they're hanging from a tree. Let me show you how. The supplies you're going to need for this project are pretty simple. Just a sheet of drawing paper, a pencil, black marker, and crayons. For some extra help, you can also download this free matching sloth tutorial from my website. Before you start drawing though, I really recommend that you take just a minute to create some guidelines on your paper. All you need to do this is to fold and crease your paper in half both ways. You'll have crease lines that match my tutorial which really help as you draw. Step number one. The head of the sloth is kind of a tilted oval that's going to go right here. Watch me draw it now with my pencil. Then comes the body that has a flat belly that goes right across that fold line and then curves down underneath. Here's how you draw it. Do make sure that it's as big as the one I'm drawing here. Step number two. Next, I'm going to draw the tree branch so I know where to attach the legs. It's gonna be made of two long curved lines that go from side to side of the paper and they're about an inch apart or so. Step number three. That back leg is a tall round shape that goes up past to the branch and then back to the rear end. When you draw it, make sure that back connects with one smooth continuous line. Then, because that leg is in front of the body, erase the line that is inside. Step number four. The front leg is near the head and has the same kind of shape. It goes up over the branch and then back down to the body. Now this leg is also in front of that body, so the line inside needs to be erased as well. Just a little more erasing needs to happen near the top. Once those branch lines are gone, it will look like the legs are wrapped around the branch. Pretty cool, huh? Step number five. Next comes an important part, the toes. This is a three-toed sloth, so I'm going to be drawing three of them like this. They're all wider than the branch, and then I'm adding the leg line below. The same needs to happen for that front leg, the long curved toes and then the leg line. And now is a good time to erase those branch lines inside the toes so you don't accidentally trace them. Just do your best to erase the lines and then fix the toe lines if you need to. Step number six. Okay, it's time to draw that cute sloth face. Start with a little hairline and then an oval just inside that head shape. Step number seven. Now add two small circles for the eyes and draw some finger-like shapes that angle up and go around those eyes. Now you can finish the face with an oval nose and a smile. I'm gonna add a little extra tuft of fur on top of the head and then erase the line underneath. Step number eight. Finally, we need some leaves to frame this sloth drawing. I'm adding a few in the bottom right corner it's a leaf and just part of a branch. And then another couple of leaves on the left side. A few leaves are added to the branch on the top right side. And a few more just like it on the top left. Step number nine. Now the drawing is done, so it's time to start tracing. I'm using a black marker and trying to work really slowly so I can stay right on top of those pencil lines. When your drawing is done, it's always smart to take a minute and erase any extra pencil lines that are still showing. Now it's time to color. I like using the black marker for those eyes, so they're really dark. 
Next comes the dark brown color. It needs to go inside those finger shapes around the eyes, as well as inside the nose and the toes. The sloth body is a little lighter brownish color. Some have a grayish kind of look too, but I'm just going to go with this medium shade of brown. This color works really well and it doesn't cover up the black lines, which is nice. Next, I need to fill in the face color. It's lighter than the rest of the body, so I think this peach will work pretty well. And then it's time to color those leaves. This is my favorite shade of green. It's not too dark and it's not too light. And when you color neatly and press really hard with it, it makes a nice bright color. And finally, it's time to fill in that sky. A light blue color will add some nice contrast to that brown body. And as always, work slowly and color neatly so you don't see any white spots on your paper. Okay, and there is my finished sloth drawing. I hope you learned how easy it is to draw one doing its favorite thing, just hanging out in a tree. So that wraps up this sloth drawing tutorial, and I hope it taught you a few more things about drawing. Please check out my website, Art Projects for Kids, for more projects like how to draw a koala and how to draw a lemur. Thanks again, and I hope to see you soon.